Hello and welcome everyone to another Mine Colonies Let's Play with the Developers episode. My name is Rickums and I'm one of the main developers of Mine Colonies. And Sam Letters is still in holiday, so he will, I think, need another week or so until he's ready. Until then, I'm on my own here in this colony. And I'm going to give a quick shout out to everyone. Hi Superminix, hi Ingerton, hi Ross, hi Fireguy, hi Ninja, hi Tinty Tots, and hi John. How are you guys doing? Um, today was a rather productive day. Um, I did through, we did uh, push a bunch of fixes through. Um, for once to make the warehouse a little bit more efficient on the other side a bunch of little bug fixes um, for example that the lumberjack isn't stuck anymore um, the rack issues and barrel issues were also fixed as well as a few other small issues so that version is not yet on this server um, but maybe I, uh, we can get Wizzy to update that tonight after the stream. That would be pretty neat. Um, no update on the doors yet though. Were you meaning these double doors here? Yeah, those doors, I still have no idea which mod is is causing that. Fisherman is almost finished, let's see what the other builder here is up to. Okay, oh, on the smeltery, so we need birch and furnace. Let's see if we have some birch with us, we do. Um, no cobble though, so let's get some cobble meanwhile. You discovered today that the inventory seen by the request system and the chest button in the warehouse are not updates until you sort. Um, that might have been... I think that I fixed as well today. Um, very likely I fixed that today. There was a desync issue with the racks from the server to the client. Hi Kugo, hi McMurray, how are you guys doing? Let's make a few of those. Store them here. Oh, you were using the 72 version. I think that was supposed to be fixed with the 72 version. Let me double check that. Oh, birch slabs and fences we can create meanwhile. I thought that one was supposed to be fixed with the 72. Yes, that was supposed to be fixed with the 72 version. Possibly we're then not syncing, we're then not marking it dirty then. That is the issue then. That should be a relatively easy fix though. I don't want so many. The rest I want to make slabs here. Fence and slab. Okay, the furnace sink, so those the other two should. Yep. Done. Make the remaining ones slabs as well. Take them over. Then, yeah, then it's a missing, missing dirty call to sync the things from the client to the server. But in general, a lot of the 
smaller sync issues should be fixed with the 72. Although the now bigger sync issues are saying like that. The small sync issues you're having, that is something we're going to have to add then additionally. Needed a few more torches still. I also did fix a uh, push a few fixes to structurize. Um, yes. <laughs> Fix two major derps of mine there. Okay. That one is clearing the smeltery, so it might need a while. Now we wait for our builder to finish. I guess, meanwhile, we could give a little bit more time to our wall there and finish those parts. <laughs> Using all the letters. Yeah. Okay. I think we start on this edge again. We're going to continue the border. Here. Get those parts finished finally. Sandstone, sandstone. Okay, we got some slabs still. Yay, the healer is fine now. That's good news, definitely. Hmm. Because I need to put an additional one here. But the difference is not so huge. Yeah, better. Still not fully satisfying. Would you? Delete the highest one here to have a smaller degree difference. Yeah, that's better. Yes, definitely. Yeah, 116 schematics are definitely going to get interesting. Because there are a lot of things you can do with them. Like, only with the. Um, with the what is the name of it? The chains that opens already an immense amount of new possibilities, right? I think 116 is, especially for builders, highly, in highly interesting. Besides all the new color choices from the Nether blocks, yes. Yes, the t especially the target block. Good that you reminded me. Because we are going... I'm going to add that to my list really quick. One second. Open my list. Um, okay, and then here change um, archery to target blocks yeah definitely going to change the archery to target blocks so that instead of placing those existing hay balls there we're going to place target blocks and use the target block for the detection as well I think that is Potentially much more interesting than shooting at those hay balls. Yeah, <laughs> going to make the me mechanics more interesting. We have to add that one to his recipes as well, or have to check if the recipes are included for that. And welcome, United U.S. Army, to our stream. <laughs> I think additional fireworks. You could use at least fireworks if they hit and level up at the same moment. It could be actually 
the use case for fireworks. General always, I want to avoid that. Um, talking about the third option of the guards, um, that one is, I think, as far as I know, ready to test. And I'm going to be publishing that after the stream, hopefully, on the in Patreon Discord server so that you guys can test out the third guard option. Um, so, there at the moment we have uh, two guards, that's the knight and the archer. And we're going to have a third guard option you're going to be able to choose, which is kind of a witch type worker. It's similar as the vanilla witch. It's going to throw favorable and non-favorable potions. There we go. Place this here. There we go. Um, would an other farmer be able to grow fruit? Um, theoretically, theoretically, that would be a, a mod capability thing, and it should be relatively easy to add another function to the farmer. That if Pam's is installed. Um, we already have a Pam's hook, so if Pam's is installed, then mine, then add a tool to the farmer's GUI that allows you to select an area where he is supposed to do fruit farming. That would be relatively easy in terms of coding work thing to do. Still a bunch of work, but relatively easy to do. Um, uh, we have decided to rename the alchemist to Druid. Um, one of the artists actually pointed it out. Because alchemists are those that grade gold and Druids are actually the ones that grade potions. We're going to call it the Druid Worker. Um, I'm unsure if they're going to come out at the same time. But the Druid Worker definitely is going to be the potion crafter, yes. Plantation worker works just as fine. Yes, you could add uh, an additional tool to the plantation worker as well. I would be fine with either. I would approve a pull request adding either. Um, yeah, D, um, the third guard option is going to be a witch. Oh, but the third guard option is not going to craft the potions. Crafting the potions is going to be a separate worker. Oops. There is a difference there. <laughs> Heck. Hey, it's because it's not a mage, right? It's not a mage. Because he throws potions. So it's probably more like a witch. There are male and female witches, so that should be fine. Um, I'm not sure how, how far Minecraft Shirley is with those. So, if he is finished already with the crafter, druid crafter as well, then they come out together, else potentially they're going to come out with a delay to each other. However, um, as far as I know for now, the witch type is not going to require potions to work. Similar to the how the guard not, does not require arrows to work. And potentially we're going to have a future feature where if they have potions, the potions are going to be 
more powerful than the default potions they're throwing. Yeah, yeah, the witch is the barracks occupation, yes. You understood that, right? Oops, that was the wrong block. And what do you mean with the enchanter, Ross? I'm uh, confused by that question. You see this? This is the remaining wall. Done. We're circled in now. Although I think I did forget adding a portal to the side. I did. Um, so we're probably going to go with here. Very nice. Yes. Um, the current enchanter worker, the enchantment worker, walks around in the colony and gathers experiments uh, experience by studying workers. And as soon as the enchantment worker has enough levels, the enchantment worker goes home and enchants and those ancient books from the um, raiders into enchantment books basically and while the enchanter is studying the workers there is additionally besides the effect now it used to be draining but since um, we have the new skill system it's now studying and the consumption is books. Dark oak. I guess. Oak. Better than nothing. Um, besides the effect of um, this, uh, I forgot to say that, besides the side effect of um, studying them and creating enchantment books, there is also always a random chance to enchant a random tool in the worker, work in the inventory of the worker the uh, enchanter is studying. So there is that as well. Oops. What's that? Okay. Just hear the way up now. It's inside. Oh, where do we want? Is there a hole under a fence? So to give you a quick answer, the druid worker is still going to have a use that's supplying potions to players for sure. So a player can uh, request a potion to be made and gets that as well. Besides, probably we're going to integrate it with um, the healer and other and other reasons as well. There's one, okay. Um, I just I need um, an entry somewhere here. I guess I'm going to go with here. Oh, the smelter is ready. Oh, that was quick. Very nice. Let's already go to the next level as well. So we're probably going to integrate it with the healer and possible other use cases as well. So that the potion maker has enough use cases to not be useless. Okay. Need chisel sandstone. Okay. 
There we go. Yeah, the block, the storage block options are actually crafted by the mechanist as well. Yes. I'm working my way to the town hall to fix the hole there, John pointed out. We have our first line of defenses ready. I do, although I do have to... Is the hole here? No. Is it down here somewhere? my right no it's not here ah here's the town hall ah here that's what you meant yes there you go thanks um that's fine here I'd say, somewhere in this direction here again, and we do want probably to set up some stuff there as well. What is our builder now working on? Tavern level three, the other one fortune, honor, ah citizen three. Okay, that's nice as well. <laughs> Hi, Aravan, how are you doing? Having fun on the 116 schematic server, I've heard. Okie dokie. We do want to set some doors to the remaining locations as well. Place some additional sand here. Um, just a chiseled sandstone on top of it. Then, here we go. <laughs> just a normal mischief. So, a bunch of it, that means. Yeah, always. need more doors some more of those old planks in here I hate those corner ones though then potentially can get some oh not chisel not now the wrong one normal sandstone I wanted then Just place them top like this. Here. It works, I guess, somewhat. Doesn't look too great, doesn't look too bad. Potentially, if I put it one higher, it looks a little bit better. A bit. Not a lot. Um, you know, we can see what our workers are up to and what our current building levels are. We should upgrade this one here relatively soon too. I could not figure out yet what is causing those, that rubber banding. Technically the server is not lagging. Um, so I'm currently suspecting that what is happening is that someone is sending too much too much customer. messages chiseled sandstone okay i can help you with that i have all of that <coughs> uh. 
so let's see what we can do here we need green we need yellow and red floating carpet let's see what we have on the other scroll I'm going to fulfill the other scroll first a red bed and then I'm going to bring the remaining things here too Uh, if that that tool error you get when you cross the chunk that is actually um, Related to having mismatching versions actually um, on another note. I was Spending hours today to find out why in the fortress style sometimes um, Rails get placed wrong just to find out that Apparently, Mojang um, messed it up and forgot to add two cases to their rotation function. That means particularly when something is rotated north-south when scanned and then pasted and then changed at 180 degrees, that doesn't work. So that was fun to discover as well. Okay, black carpet. I do want a bunch of wool. How much black carpet? Three. So this one. One, two, three. One carpet. Three carpet. Hmm. That doesn't work. Wait. Is that black? Black wool. Okay. That's quicker. I'm going to black put this black dye back somewhere here. There we go. Um, that's yeah, it, it's not your fault. It's entirely on Mojang And I still can't comprehend how they messed that up to that extent I guess I should get some more dark oak again Let me get something to fix this tool quickly Okay, that's the wrong one. I thought I can use anything. To repair this. No. This one needs iron to repair it. I get it. Just because I'm low on iron. Here we go. So, let's get some dark oak. Um, I did a, a bug report to Mojang and I made a pull request to Forge and hopefully um, they are going to fix that relatively soon. No, it's not related to the southeast rule as far as I know. Let me, oops, let me double check that. Let me see. No, it's not related to that. No, it's not related to that. The East rule, the Southeast rule, that makes a certain amount of sense because of how they iterate through the positions first. However, the else that would have to be somewhat random, which is also not good so that's why they didn't fix it at 
this back is because they forgot two cases when checking for directions in rotating the functions that's that's why it's broken and I still don't know how they did that to be honest but they did that and I made a back report and a pull request to forge and as soon as forge fixes that it's going to be fixed for us too so that's a win-win I would say some of that again and run back to our colony now yeah Mojang really doesn't care Yeah, I also have that, Ross. That is still because of that weird door bug there is. Yeah, the lightest lights mod is kinda lag machine, yes. And an unresponsive lag machine to that, because I made a bug report to them a week ago and I didn't get an answer yet at least cut sandstone not even an answer I get I got from them which is very disappointing if you say so okay what do you need right now lantern a lantern is the expensive stuff of that. Need for that. Oh. Oh. We don't support or discourage mods. Yeah. I I've heard that already. I mean it's better than some other platforms I'm looking at you Nintendo that are actively kind of like processing people using mods and um, locking down their their um, tw their uh, switch if they mod the uh, switch and these kinds of things so I guess Mojang is a little bit better in that sense but in general there is yeah watching is not doing a great it ch any job it's like oh we're going to do the least possible amount of effort with mods in regards to mods and that means we're neither going to encourage them nor going to encourage them And at the same time they make their stupid data pack store where people are making millions I'm not kidding people are making millions developing little structure thingies there meanwhile the actual modding community <laughs> that is spending significant amount of time and skill in their things they're like mm, why it trying to support them But like they're creating more content every week than Mojang ever. Oh nice diamonds. Yeah mods are the reason I'm still playing for real. And imagine if they offered modded realms server or something like that. Let's be honest. If Mojang came to us 
and said we want to make a um, C sharp version um, modding API what do you guys need and offer the biggest mods some kind of reward <laughs> that's very nice and offer the bigger mod some kind of reward to porting it to C sharp I'd be totally open to, for it C sharp is a very comfortable language to mod in and I wouldn't have a problem to port mine colonies to it if there was some kind of reward for it obviously and by chance I know that in our dev group we have a bunch of people that have a decent amount of experience yeah in terms of framework maybe in terms of language features I think C sharp is more powerful Yeah, the, the OS stuff, I won't say anything to that stuff, but in general, as a language, C Sharp is uh, very powerful. But yes, they would only have to create some kind of incentive for developers, or at least for the bigger mods that need significant time to port to that. And I'm sure a bunch of people would go with that. No, I mean, that would... The idea of that would be to get everything over to... To, to Bedrock and remove the Java edition. But to be honest, seeing how many developers they are hiring in the Java edition, I don't see why they can do it in Java either. They have, they hired a huge team on the Java edition lately, and if they really wanted to discontinue it in a reasonable time frame, they wouldn't have done that. So. I'm actually sure, unsure what their general game plan is related to Java Edition. Yeah, I heard already about the newest Java version, but I didn't really dig into it yet, what it actually offers. I'm mean, kind of because of Mind Colonies totally stuck on Java 8. I haven't really searched about the Java 9 etc features now there are these module features in the future yeah Java 8 is really old I know there are the module features in Java 9 that are relatively neat but they don't work well with Gradle modules so they're kind of also useless for us Yeah, I tried once to set up these modules, but I wanted to use Gradle and then I googled after it and Gradle was kind of like, meh, don't use it. Or as far as I understood that at least. And I ended up not using it. Yes, and I, I think there is a lot of money to make for them on the Java edition, for sure. Um... I'm sure people would be paying decent amount of money if they made a similar modding store in Java Edition. I believe that could probably get them much more money than their Bedrock stores, potentially.
Although I'm not sure because I know that especially console and pocket edition in terms of microtransaction probably has an audience that is more willing to do microtransactions and I think PC people are more let's say less open-minded in terms of microtransactions is that uh Yeah, microtransactions is kind of absolutely horrible. Very dark here. What does this what does this burn do here? What happens if I mine it? I get gold nuggets and books out of it. That's not so bad. Yeah, for sure. The requirement for Bedrock to be to launch would for sure be to be not Windows only. I'm on, on Linux myself. So that would have to be multi platform for sure. Oops. 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 Ouch. That was not so good. Can I use back? You can use back, and I can't use back. That sounds weird. Yeah. They hit it surprisingly hard. I got it. Ah, wrong place. Gotta get back to my bed now. To my grave. Yeah, I'm, I'm considering leaving back turned off and making maybe keep inventory and adding some potion effect or so. Oh lord. Can't see anything Are you ready? at all. Where am I? I can't see anything. Can I use MC Home? I'm stuck. Um, brightness on. Yeah, I can't see anything now. I f fell into a hole, and it's just dark. Okay. And I can't use bag either. Okay, Wizzy, that was great. Okay, I can see something. Oh, I made it out. Okay. So that's better. <laughs> Yikes. There's some lip lapis there. Okay, we made it. Just have to find place of death. Just somewhere around here. Ah, it's up there. Okay. Getting my stuff here out. Here. Wonder how they were hitting so hard. Ah. Okay.
Okay. Made it. Four stuff. Okay, we made it again. Gotta eat something. Oh yeah, that's pretty neat. Indeed. That area is already lighted out, I see. Iron ore. Get my... Here. Yeah, potentially we're going to just turn on keep inventory and leave it at that. It might be the easiest solution of all of them. Yeah, I forgot that urn, yes. Some coal. Getting some coal is good as well because we need it for torches. It's also levels for us, so that's double good. Craft some. The thing up here. Then getting out a bunch of planks. Then we make some torches. They're stocked up again. That's better. Much better. Okay. On the coal. Let's get get all the coal we can get. Good night, Erevan. See ya. Oops. Creeper appearing. That sound still freaks me out until nowadays. Does it freak you guys out as well? Even as long time Minecraft players, there's nothing worse than hearing behind you. Good, good that I'm not alone with that. Okay, there was this urn here. It gives us an urn and gold nuggets, I guess. Or coal. Or area with more coal. Another urn. More of this ore here. Which I'm unsure how useful it is. Better having it than not having it, I would say. <laughs> uh, and I thought the, the reason for not keeping parrots is because it's absolutely cruel. For the poor animals to live in a terrible small place. Okay, got it. So that's our main area here, there's nothing to find in this direction. <laughs> yeah, that that sounds that sounds very horrifying. Definitely, that's for sure. An other reason to not have a parrot. Oh, I can see some iron. Very good, because that's what we're after. Because we need twenty-six lanterns. 
Can hear or zombies. Ouch, poor Dram. Okay. Four urns, a lot of them. That one was a bit more rewarding. I can actually open them as well. Didn't know that. Storing again a bunch of that stuff here. This here here's an iron ore. Was the other iron ore here? direction. That's a relatively long tunnels here. Yes, more iron. That's good news. Or this here seems <laughs> that that's that's very unlucky to have the first possible hire to request honeycomb that's not a very easy item to get that's where I came from And the beehive. The, the problem is finding the beehive depending on the biome you're in. Some that can need between no time and a long time. If you guys remember that one time we were running around for hours trying to find a beehive and then I gave up. Okay. Ah, more iron. Work this stuff. Some of these two. All coal. It looks like iron there as well. Looks like gold and it feels like lag. And I can hear a slime somewhere here. Okay. Oh, here's the slime. No, here's a slime chunk around. Yay! Nice. And some more iron. We're now finally going to better iron levels here, definitely. And that's coal. We don't know deeper. Today the music is more soothing, I have to say. There's not that much to complain about. Yesterday there was not a lot of not chill musics at all. Down is good, yeah down usually is good. And Ray is getting lost, that is also true.
Uh, do I do have my waystone with me? I believe. Okay. All coal and stuff. Get some of that coal here out. Yeah, they walk around all over your colony. They don't stay put at one specific location. To be on redstone level already? Must be fairly deep here. Okay. Some more coal for us. <laughs> they need quite they need quite a while to to leave though they just walk around randomly in the colony so it, it might seem they left but they are still uh, still around ah we are here now where we actually started we are not lost we are the opposite of lost we are back to where we started that's good Ouch. No, I'm not lost. I'm intentionally where I want to be. A wizard is never lost. He's always exactly where he intends to be. Have anything here? <laughs> and that's the other location where we went up okay full circle now basically now we can go back in our tunnel here go straight continue our mine here straight Temple? Which temple? There's no temple. Okay. Iron! Yes, that's what we want. For the iron. We need basically 26 iron only for those darn lanterns. No, it's not the desert temple. I don't think so, at least. Dum -de -dum. Iron in the ceiling! That resource pack makes it a little bit more difficult to spot that. Although, more realistically, iron would be probably be just a little bit red-tainted soil. You have then to extract from it. Or iron. You're getting lucky here. Don't want so much um, redstone though. I kind of like it not to stand out so strongly, even though it makes it more difficult, it's kind of more realistic. <laughs> I know I like to make things more difficult for me. That's, I would say that's the story of my life. Always when there was like, oh there's this way that could be easy, and there's that way that could be difficult, I was like, yeah, I'm going to feel very bad if I take the easy way, so I'm going to take the bad, the difficult way instead. That music is again very unrelaxing. 
that's that's how I eventually ended up in my PhD with my with the current situation I'm in. Ah, I could get a job after the masters, start earning money, but actually research is so much more interesting and difficult. So I'm going to go for that. And then I thought, man, but only making my PhD in uh, at that one university. That would be easy, but it would be also not very rewarding, so I should make a double degree. Not knowing that I'm going to lose my scholarship while at the other institution. So that made things even more difficult than even was intended by me. Okay, only coal, I guess we can go back now to our colony and similarly has been hunting after my PhD research I could go in this direction which would be relatively easy or we go into this direction that might be more rewarding but a lot more work yeah let's go let's go with that although I have to say that my um, advisors are also liking the path of the biggest resistance a lot more <laughs> which doesn't make things easier in the end but I'm still enjoying it it's after all very rewarding to do tough stuff Let's smelt a bunch of these here. We can finish smelting those too. I do not have a smelter hired yet. I do need to do that. We dump some of the things here as well. Add the some the other storage. But yeah, I need to get the smelter going. Just dump the other things here. I know granite is somewhere here, and the side is somewhere here. Diorite is here. I do not know what those urns are for. I do. I'm going to dump them here. Let's get the remaining stuff out of here. That's more of that. More of that. Very nice. Citizen level 3 finished. Those. Things I need to dump here. Gold, oh, not those books, yes. That's redstone dust. That I don't want to dump here. Those. Ah, and that book here. Yes. Book. The arrows. Those. Yes, and the rest I'm going to dump here again. There we go. Very good. It did dump our iron ore we had with us as well, didn't it? Did. I wonder where that iron ore actually gets stored then. Ah, we have here 225 iron store. Okay. 
so what we do need those and sticks then we make torches and then we make nuggets and then we make lanterns let's take already six lanterns here yeah but i need i want a level three smelter first before we do that because then we are going to get uh, double the ingots out of this so that is yes, definitely Lord. worth the effort okay end stone brick wall and it needs endstone bricks and those are made from endstone okay you have still a diamond with me I do to repair this tool here I guess I have to do that at the anvil and then we go and give the end a quick wizard if that works and mind that we have an end portal very close by ender portal is this direction ender portal this way I think it was then his way following yes here it is then we no the portal is not complete yet not been to the end yet I've not been on this server to the end yet either to be completely honest And we don't have the stuff to go to the end. Need those ender eyes, yes. Um, let's see. I think we should probably have a lot of the things we need for it. Yeah, we have a lot of those. But we need um, the... What is the name of it? Yeah, what can I use this in? Hey, always remember. Eye of Ender. Okay. Blaze Powder. Oh, you've never been to the end. Hey, there's no blaze powder around here. Is there a blaze? Not, not here. Not here. I did mess out. Nope. Is there anything left up here? Nope. I can craft blaze powder. Some wheat seed and a lava bucket. Okay. That is relatively... Oh, there's a blaze rod here. But I'm going to use that recipe. There's some blaze powder here as well. Uh, where were our buckets? I know that... Here. So we go to the end and get a bunch of buckets of lava and then we make the blaze powder fill up our portal and go to the end yeah i didn't know that myself
I wonder wh which mod adds this. That is extremely super mega overpowered. Ouch. Come on. Dead. to get some wheat seeds probably have them all over the place Let's see if we have some up here if not I'm sure we have a bunch of them in our warehouse yep not here but in the warehouse we should have a whole bunch of them and then we get that and portal functional flag here 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 no. ah here here we got it I guess that finishes that part. It's day again. Good. Everyone slept really quickly. Can finish this part very quickly though. Those together. I Some I have fingers. Anyone bag. I have everything. I'm very prepared. I'm actually even prepared to take down the Ender Dragon. Theoretically, we have uh, even enough blocks and these kinds of things. With there we go. Oh. I do have a lot of blocks with me. There is already an Enderside bridge. People have taken care of everything. The Ender Dragon is alive. Okay, that's something I did not expect. I'm going to stay down here then. I did not expect the Ender Dragon to be alive. Stone here. Oral ore. Is it good? Not really. Let's see. Put some of the things in my backpack.
practically we could be trying to fight the ender dragon now we got a nice bow got a bunch of blobs basically everything we need we even got an apple and food oh wow it's just just have angry angry with me all angry did I look in your eyes I think so Now that's wrong thing. Else. So under he is here. Okay, I can respawn. But apparently all the other stations are down yet yeah just have to kill those annoying endermen where is this ender dragon I can't see him This with the shaders is almost impossible to take care of. Oh no, I want to kill it. I didn't know that this enemy existed. What is this? Biotype or Oh yeah, it's a sheep. I really can't see her. Okay. Ender essence, biotite, or I need to come back with a. This here is the way out. Where does this take me? What did people construct here? That's the question. Okay. We go back home then. Okay, that's better. Now things are actually visible again. But, I, but that, is, that should be relatively easy to do. I just have to turn off the shaders. <laughs> because with shaders, that's definitely impossible to take care of. already very stressful I'm gonna put a roof over my head I, I said I like difficult things so I was kind of for a second mm, that looks interesting I would like to do that we more lantern yeah. right oh. and stone brick wall okay so those you got now I can get you the remaining lanterns now
20 lanterns are remaining. More torches than that though. Where can we go? It's not... Seven. That's potentially a map then. Yes, 21. We give that. What's it today to the builder. then? What we have left is then all the carpet stuff. The two yellow and two red floating carpets. Potentially, do we have? I need to dump a few of those things here. There we go. No carpet. No. In two red and yellow floor. And a bunch of green, yeah. But I, I go first with those, and then I see the. Okay. Got these. Now we need the spider here. The string. And the build tool. The build tool. Carpet. Remember which way it was. There we go. Two yellow and two red. We put those here back. Yes. And green and lime now. Okay. Potentially not enough green. Let's see. Yes, we need more than that. Need another eight green. And lime. We need to cook a bunch of those. And I think we might have actually green wool in the warehouse. So let me bring the floating carpet here. And then some of the green as well and then we check we have any of the remaining in the warehouse yeah only one that's not worth it let's check in the warehouse instead let's dump those here already and cool we have green we have nine lime wool. Okay, we have sorted. Short moment of lag again. Now we just have to find which chest all the wool win. No. Yeah. In there. But we do have everything here. Why cooking resources? Let's see. We do want to know anyway which one the chest is here. So that's the green wall. How many are remaining? Eight, right? Here. Nine. Done. Bag. There's another one with lime one. Lime one with lime. Cool. Gotta find it. Okay. 
definitely gonna code the highlight code is it in the secret storage yeah that's what I wondered okay food is in the secret storage Iron, but not the lime wool. All the wool was here. Oh, we have some a diamond and emerald ores here for our smelter soon to start. And welcome. Folklore 2K. Is that correct? Is it folk? Ah, here we got it. And how many was it? 18 this time. That's less. It's 12 at least. Put the remaining ones back. Almost, right? Get eight, so we another ten. Let's cook up a bit of this cactus and then get the remaining blocks for that builder. Then we can check out what the other builder is actually working on. We have some green here, more green wool we actually had, but no lime wool, right? Yeah, this is still a bug that I fixed that today. Yeah, I, I thought I fixed the bug completely that had the things spawning in different dimensions. Yeah, they should be able to get close enough at least. I die here. There we go. Um, actually, actually, we do need still wool. Um, so we still do have to go to the warehouse back and get some white wool. They should be able to access it. Like not access it. But they shouldn't have to have to get too close to it to stop it. What else? Ah, the wool. We have white wool. All green wool only. Hi, Madman Patty. One white wool. Yeah, I noticed the cats. We are out of white wool. That's bad. Because I can't dye the other ones, right? Can I dye the sheep white again? That should work, right? Yes. Okay. Get another pair of shears. Then that should work. I need eight, wasn't it? And do this. Okay. Green die. Wine die. This. That's lime carpet. 
we got enough and dump the remaining items in here. I don't know the line can we wait. Yeah, I'm using the clarity texture pack. What? You think I'm not strong enough? Watch me. Fine. Yes, my lord. He has. Yes, everything for the tavern level 3 is ready and we can check on our other builder now. How she's doing? Uh, he, on her. He torches only for the barracks tower level 1. Ah, uh, you're upgrading the barracks tower. Almost finished. Very nice job. Yeah, why was everything on level 2? It was the level 2 was absurdly expensive and level 3 was then actually reasonable. Meltery to the top. That one should be the next one upgraded again. For those especially as well. Finish. Getting a bunch of carpet all over the place, I see. Finish building Barracks Tower 1. Very nice. Why? Well, because. That's okay then. Um, this part is not fixed yet. The roof. Those are probably one. Two of the red. Yes, smelterly level two. That's the one you're supposed to start exactly. So fortune is here, placing the carpet all over the place. Oops! Oops! Okay. Get out of this hole here. Uh, we are at the sad part of the stream again, we are online for quite a while and it's getting fairly late here, so I'm going to have to go to sleep. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in for today, we did again a bunch of progress, we were able to gather a lot of resources for our builders, got the smeltery finished, got the barracks tower finished and a few other buildings as well as the tavern level 3 now on the final level um, I hope you enjoyed the stream as much as I did thanks everyone for um, helping me to keep the stream interesting asking questions and engaging with me in the chat I appreciate that a lot um, if you want to support this project you can follow subscribe and become a patreon to support our little modding project here all Every help is very welcome for our team. Thanks everyone for who's already helping and contributing. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Good night everyone.